everyone, this is Julian Paddle, Master Coach. Uh, today I'm going to be teaching one of the most important weapons in paddle that you must have in your arsenal. That's, it's the lob. As you know in paddle, lobs are a crucial, crucial shot for you to learn and to master because that's the one that you can use to push the opponents back. And for you to go, I'm going to teach you the step by step that I use with my students and the tools that I use for, with my students for you to master the lob and become a great paddle player. Let me show you how it's done. Here's a great tool that I use with my students, which is a, just a simple rope with swimming noodles that I put on top of it. And then I ask my students for them to hit the ball over that noodle. First thing that I do with my students, I tell them to stand right behind the baseline, grab three balls, hold the paddle with the face up. And what I want them to do is try to hit under that ball, right? And try to hit the ball in the other side of the noodles or the rope that I put on the other side. Very simple. Take the paddle back, make the ball bounce, and try to hit that ball as deep as you can. Up. What I want you to do, pay attention on the follow through. Follow through, I want you to finish above your left shoulder. Very simple, finish above your left shoulder. That's the way I want you to do it. In paddle, we, we don't have just one lob. We have three different lobs, okay? And I'm gonna show you all three how they are. There are three lobs. One is called the rainy one. It's the one that you hit really, really, really hard and the ball comes straight down. That's the most effective one out of the three that I'm gonna show it to you because when that ball comes straight down, it comes at full velocity and it's very difficult for you to, have that, to hit that contact point right in front of you. So let me show you how it's done. You get under, under the ball, and you follow through all the way up. That ball is going to come straight down and it's going to bounce as close to the, to, the, to the back wall as possible. The idea is if you're hitting the back wall, that means that the head of the paddle is facing forward too much. So what, how do you fix it? By opening slightly. And then the follow through is the one that never changes. That's a constant. That's called the rainy lob, or the one that is coming straight down. The other one is the half moon lob. It's the one that the trajectory of the ball is more like a half moon. And it's the one that you hit Ideally to hit is when the server comes to the net, you hit over their heads. What happens with that one, if you don't hit, that's gonna give you a higher bounce on the back walls, so it will be easy to return. But it's a great love for you to be able to retake the net. The third one is the one that you hit with backspin on it. So that ball will have a backspin on it, that ball's gonna bounce and drop. This one, it needs a little bit more skills and more precision on it. You set up up here, and you go and you hit it right there. That ball has backspin on it. When it bounces, it just stops. Now let me show you how to do the back. And the back end is very similar technique when you have the three options, the rainy one, the half moon, and the backspin on it. But the technique, it's a little bit different on the back end side. On the forehand side, we finish above your left shoulder. On the back end side, we want to get under that ball and finish above your right shoulder. So the way it looks is this, there, and then you finish up here. I show you how the basic technique is done when you have the ball in front of you. But the secret now is this, try to be able to hit a lob after the walls. And that's how you ma really master your game when you can, balls come in, hits that wall, and then you can dig it out and hit an effective shot, a, a, an effective lob every single time. Let me show you how it's done with a live ball. Set up and bring the paddle all the way up again of the back wall, I set up and I bring it all the way up. That will be the rainy one. Now again, now I'm going to pass it a little bit more, the half moon, so I follow through a little bit more forward for me to get that depth. And now the backspin on it, I'm going to set up a little bit higher and finish all the way up. Now let me show you how the backhand is done. Now for the backhand side, same thing, I set up, open my paddle, finish all the way up. Do it again. So I set up, finish all the way up. Do it again. Now I'm gonna show you the half moon when I push it a little bit more forward. Finish, the follow through is a little bit different, pushing the ball back there. And now the backspin on it. So I'm gonna start really high and I'm gonna put the backspin on it so that ball has a backspin on it, hits the back wall and drops. That's the, that's the way it's done. That's how you take your paddle to the next level. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.